What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today we're going to be talking about a subscriber story that was sent in to me about a, a spoiled person they knew that ended up blowing their mom's retirement money. You know you've got to be insanely spoiled if your mom lets you manage your retirement money in the first place but I figured it'd be a great story time. Be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam your kids are going to blow your retirement fund and let's get into it. <laughs> Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million all right, so I think at this point, everyone and their mom has heard about the stock market, right? If you haven't heard of it, you probably have been intentionally trying to avoid it. Because I feel like TikTok, YouTube, you know, basically everyone and their mom's been like talking about how to get rich with the stock market. The thing about it is, though, you know, I understand that the last year, year and a half, people have had a fantastic time because stocks have been going up. The truth of the matter is, occasionally, though, they also go down. Anyways, I guess the uh, subscriber that sent this in knows somebody they're in college that has been very heavily invested in the stock market. And they haven't exactly been making smart decisions, you know, or really researching companies before they do it. They've just been kind of blindly YOLOing into these option calls, which for those of you that don't know what it is, you don't have to. It's just like a, a really risky way to invest your money. And just getting really, really lucky. Like, that was kind of what was going on. Regardless, they were kind of on a hot streak and they had done pretty well for a couple weeks now and they were convinced that they were the wolf of wall street right in their mind everything they're doing was completely you know because they were just a mozart of making money there was no luck involved whatsoever he was just fantastic at it so much so that he started going around to his friends and his family and being like let me take your money and let me use it on the stock market and i promise you i'm gonna make us all this money i'm gonna make everybody rich blah 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 and listen, I know obviously sometimes in life there's definitely people out there that like do know how to play the stock market. They can turn like a grand into a lot of money. I'm not saying those people don't exist. I'm just saying those people have been doing it for a lot longer than like two weeks with an insanely good luck streak. You know what I mean? Like if you run a billion dollar hedge fund, chances are you've been doing nothing but researching stocks for years. This guy just had like a good luck streak for two weeks following Wall Street bets on Reddit and decided he was going to become a wealth manager. And you know, most of his friends, most of the people he asked immediately were like, no absolutely not you don't have enough experience doing this you don't have a degree in this you don't have any of the licenses like no absolutely not but somehow he convinces his mom to let him use her 401k to do these strategies so she can retire early and listen man i personally do have some stocks i think like obviously being invested is a good thing but i'm also not delusional i'm not out here thinking that like i'm single-handedly gonna trade my 401k to an amount that's large enough for me to retire early I don't own a hedge fund. I'm sure it's possible if you have the energy and effort and, and know how to do it, but like after two weeks, you don't have the know-how. Somehow though, he convinces his mom to uh, let him do this. And for those of you that like aren't familiar with the 401k, it's a retirement account that, you know, is, is tax free, whatever. It's like the best way to save money for your retirement because it has time to grow. And when it grows, you don't have to pay taxes on the, the how much it's grown. So at this point, his mom was a little bit older. She's in her 40s. So she has a hefty chunk of change in this 401k. All right. I don't know the exact amount, but apparently he was going around bragging to everyone and the person who sent this to me about how now he had access to at least half a million dollars. So he's got half a million dollars of his mom's money that she's basically given him the go ahead to go trade on the stock market because he's the wolf of Wall Street. He knows the secret to printing money. OK, and uh, they're going to retire early. The only thing you have to know, like, you don't have to know the technicalities of it, of the strategy this dude was doing, which is options, is that, like, yeah, if you're right and you're in the money, you make a lot, you know? You make a lot of money. But if you're wrong, you lose, like, basically all your money. You picking up what I'm putting down. Usually, if you're invested in a company, like, let's say you're invested in Disney. If it goes up 7% in a year, right, then, like, that's pretty solid. That's, that's some good numbers. If you own an option in Disney, if it goes up 7%, correct me if I'm wrong, my numbers might not be incredible. I think it'd be 70 or 700%. I can't remember how much it multiplies it by, but your losses are also kind of like also weighted differently. Basically, it's just a really risky way of doing things. Yes, it's a way that a lot of people make a lot of money, but you shouldn't take your re entire retirement account and just put it into this super risky strategy. 
And that's just a horrible idea, dude. Like, I don't even know why you would want to be in charge of your mom's retirement, right? Like, hypothetically here, imagine you do end up blowing it. Obviously, this guy's hyper-confident. But still, if you do blow it, you're now responsible for telling your mom she has to keep working for way longer than previously planned. I don't want that type of responsibility on me. Anyways, he's now managing his mom's portfolio, doing risky stuff with it. And people are kind of asking him, because he's talking about it a lot, about how he's managing all this money and it's his mom's account, like, all right, what's your strategy? What are you doing? Like, what's kind of your plan to make sure your mom doesn't lose all your money? And he's unironically telling these people that he's looking up stuff on Reddit to make sure that he knows, like, how to uh, do it right. He doesn't actually come up with any investment ideas by himself. He doesn't actually, you know, know what he's doing at all. He's literally just going on reddit googling stuff and if it sounds good just using his mom's retirement account to do it and listen I'm not saying that every now and then you're not gonna get good advice from the internet but I just feel like once again when you're gambling with your parents retirement account I don't think it's the best idea to just be going to the internet and googling how to trade more money anyways it goes good for a couple days but then one day his usual cheery chipper self walks into like the kitchen common room area and does not seem very happy. It also happened to be a day where the stock market wasn't doing very good, and everyone's kind of like, yo, bro, you all right? You seem stressed out. And he's like, I'm not stressed. Everything's fine, okay? Everything's fine. And everyone's like, all right, that's kind of a weird reaction, though. People that are totally fine don't usually scream at people asking them if they're fine. But whatever, he just seems stressed out, and he kind of goes about his business a little bit, goes back to his room, slams the door, and they hear him on the phone with somebody very pissed off, kind of arguing about, well, you need to undo it, you need to undo it. And eventually he comes out, and he's like, all right, I need some advice. And so he pulls the subscriber and another dude outside, and he goes, all right, so last night I was on Reddit, I'm looking at Wall Street Bets, and I find this thread that's like, this stock and this option is the best way to grow your money. I'm insanely confident, and then the guy who had posted the research posted a screenshot of him with $100,000 invested in it, right? And the two people he's talking to are like, okay, cool, so some random dude on the internet you don't know did this thing and did it with a lot of money, and he goes, alright, so I took my mom's entire retirement account and put it in there. And their eyes, like, agape, right? They're like, the entire account, the entire account? Whatever, you find something you want to try out, see if it makes some money, that's fine, but you don't do the entire retirement account. And he goes, yeah, and it's down 70% today. In one day, this dude had managed to wipe out 70% of his mom's retirement. And he goes, it doesn't expire for another two days. Should I sell it now, or do I hold it and hope it like comes back up in value when I make the money back? And the two people that he's talking to are like, well, listen, I, first of all, am not a financial expert, so I don't want to tell you what to do here. You're an idiot. Because, like, dude, why are you asking these two people that know nothing about stocks what you should do when you ruin 70% of your mom's retirement account? These people aren't experts. They don't know what they're doing. But they're like, I mean, if it's gone down 70% in a day, it's probably going to go down more, I think. So, I don't know. Me, personally, I would get rid of it. And he's like, well, whatever. I think I'm going to wait it out. Obviously, he goes back inside. They know why he's stressed out now, but everybody in, like, the little area is just making fun of him now. They're like, this guy's an idiot. He really blew his mom's entire retirement account gambling based on something somebody on Reddit said. And I want to make this clear. This is not me trying to hate Wall Street Bets, the subreddit, okay? I think it's entertaining. I do go on it. In fact, I have invested money based on stuff I've read on there, then done my own research and been like, yeah, this makes sense. I don't want anyone to think I'm hating on any, like, forum where people are talking about stocks or anything. I think this guy is an idiot for just doing what people said on the internet blindly without researching it anymore. I'm not blaming any of the people there that are, like, y you know, a part of that community. Especially because in that community, most of them are gambling with their own money, alright? It's completely different when you start to gamble with someone whose money isn't yours. Like, if this guy did this with his own money, no way it gets into a video, alright? I'm not even gonna lie. I would not make a video about a guy thinking he had a good investment, investing his money in it and blowing it, right? Because, like, whatever. That happens all the time. The only reason I'm talking about it is because it ain't his money, bro. It's his mom's retirement. Anyways, they don't see him for a few days after that, but out of curiosity, they had, like, looked up what he told them they're invested in, and sure enough, the price kept sinking for a few days. So anything that he had had invested in there is going to be even less than it was now. And finally, after a few days, he comes in, and he's talking to him, and he goes, I dropped out of school. I'm going to move to another state. 
I guess his plan was he was so embarrassed about, like, you know, losing all of his mom's retirement that he decided he was just gonna, like, move away and never talk to them again. Which I don't think necessarily works, dude. I think one way or another, she's probably gonna find out that you blew her retirement account. Like, whether you tell her or one day she goes to retire and there's no money there, you think she's just never gonna put two and two together? Anyways, they tell him that's a horrible idea. He shouldn't do that, but he's like, nah, it's too late. I, I, I blew it all, blah, 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 blah. I just wanted to say bye. And they're like, okay. They don't really know this dude, by the way. They don't know him very well. He's just kind of telling them all this stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt the video for just one second. If you take a look at your screen now, you'll see a gift card code. For those of you that don't know, I give away a gift card code in every single video I post on the channel as a way to say thank you to y'all for subscribing and turning on notifications. So if you haven't already, you should. And if you do already, thank you so much. While you're at it, be sure to press the like button and comment down below. It helps the video do better. Seriously, go down there and comment the word poop now. Otherwise, you have a dum dum brain. And after that, sure enough, dude dips. Nobody knows where he went. Nobody knows where he goes. All they know is that he is no longer there, right? So obviously they're like, okay, he actually cut out of there. But after about a week, there's a like knock on their door and they open it and it's campus police and this older looking lady. And they go, hey, we were talking to your RA and they say that this guy and they say his name was like, you know, closest with you guys in the dorm. And they kind of are like, I mean, yeah, we didn't talk to him much, though. He would kind of talk to us sometimes when we would see him, but we weren't really like close. Anyways, that kind of like looks like it disappoints them a little bit. They're like, you don't happen to know where he is, right? And they have nothing to hide. They're not friends with this dude. So they kind of are like, well, the last time we saw him, he mentioned that, you know, he was going to go live somewhere else and that like he felt really guilty about losing his mom's retirement. And when they say that, the woman standing next to him kind of tears up a bit and she goes, my son, like, you know, convinced me that he was this great investor. 80% of my retirement funds gone. And now we don't know where he is. And obviously, like, they're kind of standing there like, well, that's obviously unfortunate, but, like, we don't, we don't know where he is. We don't know where he is, you know? And at the same time, like, they're thinking this. They don't say this, but they're like, why did you let this guy with no experience manage your entire retirement fund? I understand some people can be convincing, dude. Don't get it twisted. But at the end of the day, if you give your kid access to, like, a half a million dollars and they're an idiot, like, it is also sort of on you because you should know your kid well enough to know that giving any kid... $500,000 is a bad idea. If they earn it themselves, you know, they're the ones out there hustling, it's different. He didn't have to work for it. He doesn't care who's the money belongs to. He's just gonna keep gambling it because he thinks he's gonna get rich too. Anyways, obviously they're kind of like, well, that sucks, you know. Uh, they talk for a little bit longer, they leave. But they're like, dude, this guy actually, like, basically robs his mom. I guess robs his mom isn't the right word because he didn't get off with the money. He's just an idiot. The money's just gone at this point. You know what I mean? But, and then, like, literally took off. He's just, just an absolute jerk, dude. Like, to your own mom, man. To your own mom. It's bad enough when people Bernie made off, you know, like, strangers for billions of dollars. But how are you going to steal your mom's retirement and then not even tell her you did it? Anyways, guys, obviously this story time was insane. I just had to share it with y'all. As I said, no hate to anyone that's like investing in the stock market or, or does any of that stuff. I'm sure you guys know what you're doing. Just a reminder, if you don't know what you're doing, maybe don't take your mom's retirement fund and start gambling with it. That seems like a really bad idea. Anyways, though, if y'all enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. And of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications. I really would appreciate likes and comments other than that if you want to help me out you can check out the intro song link to it can be found down below or you can check out my podcast the scuffed cast links down there too or you could use code scrubby at the g fuel checkout you get a discount on g fuel the best energy drink for gamers it helps me out everyone's a winner and last but certainly not least, I did go ahead and put some of my story times up on Spotify so that way you guys could listen to them on there. You don't need to watch gameplay while you're doing it. So I'll put that link in the top of the description. Feel free to go check that out. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully I will see each and every single one of you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.